Previously, we've wired our encoder to our Micro 850's high-speed counter, and we're using the PLC Tool Sim EOC to simulate the encoder spinning, and we've configured and connected components workbench so that we're actually counting. But eventually, we're going to run out of numbers. Then what are we going to do? Now, I am picking up exactly where I left off in the last video, including the spy list right here, and it's going to be very important. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to change this value right here. That way we do not have to wait forever. But I can't simply throw a zero at the end of it to make the number higher. To change this value, I'm going to need to change my high-speed command to stop, which let's do a quick review on that. Here's our high-speed command values. Two is a stop, and so I'm going to throw a two into that. That stops my count. And now, if I put a zero there, it does stay. So now we have 239 million. Well, I'm going to change this number to 2,147,483,000, and I'm going to put three zeros in. That way you can see a little bit of what's happening here. And I'm going to change my SIM EOC to the 10 kilohertz scale. That way we're going to run slow. We'll actually be able to see what happens when it goes on the rollover. And we are still on the mode of encoder here. So this mode six right now, if we go back over here and go to our high-speed app data, we're in a quadrature a counter mode right now. So as soon as I put this back to a one to put it back into run, it's going to start going back up. And now I'm going to go ahead and change it to a frequency of 100 hertz. And that's going to give us about five seconds, and then we're going to see what happens here. All right, well, we got a star there. And okay, I was not expecting that, but hey, maybe in the next video, I'll show you how to edit the HMI. But here now, we went into the negative 2 billion range, and I didn't have enough digits set up on the panel view. That's why that happened. So when a counter goes from its maximum positive number, it's going to go to its maximum negative number. And same deal, we can hit our direction button. That's going to get us going the other way. And I'm going to speed this up just so we can see. If I go to 1 kilohertz, then it's going to pop from the maximum negative back to maximum positive. Now, let's change our counter type. In fact, I'm going to switch this back. That way we don't have to work so hard. I'm going to put it back on 10. Or actually, let's just stop it. And I'm going to do that by hitting the direction button. Let's take our mode back to that up counter that we had initially. And this would be like if you have a flow meter. Oh, uh -huh. well, guys, I, I put a zero in the wrong thing, but now we'll go ahead and learn. Uh, you can't put a zero in that because, yeah, and uh, this one does kind of bug me a little bit. You can't put a zero in there because, yeah, that does fault the PLC. It's an invalid mode. That's all right. We went enough through how to clear faults in the last one that I'm just going to go over here, clear the fault, and put it right back in the run mode, get us back where we were. And now I'm going to change this one, which is our high speed counter mode to a zero. And then I had this command as one, but we need this command to go to a two to stop it. And we're going to put it back to a one. That gets us in the up counter mode. And now. I'm going to hit our button to get us back going. And notice we're counting positive. And if I change my direction, we're still counting positive because in this mode, it's only going to go up. But watch what happens when we roll over. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. We need to be at a 483,000. So that's good enough. We'll give it just a few seconds here. And when it goes around, it starts back at zero. So if you're in a counter mode, it's 0 to 2,147,483,647. If you're in encoder mode, it's a negative 2,147,483,648 to a positive 2,147,483,647. And if you want to know how I know that, at the end of this, I'm going to put a playlist that talks about data types. But there's one more we should talk about before that, and that's if we're using this Z marker, because a lot of you wire this up and don't understand what it does. And so let's go ahead and go back to our help file. And to use the Z marker, that is this external reset and hold. And we have the Z wired to this reset. 
And I'm going to go over here, and this time I'm going to hopefully do it right so I don't fault the PLC. I'm going to put a 2 in the command to stop it. And then we're going to change it to the 7 here. That's going to get us that reset. And now we'll put it back to a 1. And now we're going up, and we have it on 10 hertz right now, and it's going up about 1 a second in the tens place. So I'm going to bring it up 100 because really this is 1,024 pulses. And then we get a pulse on this reset. So now 7, 8, 9, and we reset. Now this can be good. This can be bad. If we're trying to do a multi-turn application and we need to accumulate all that and do some math, we do not want that reset there. But in this case, let's say it's a crank sensor or something that needed to do the position in 360 degrees, then this is how you would do that. So there's three quick examples of how the rollover works depending on your application. Now, if you missed how to set up your encoder or how we did the configuration, or you want to see the next video, which is how to calculate rate, then here's a playlist with all those.